Hello everyone, this is Max from Online Prospects and today I want to share with you one secret, one rule regarding location setting within your Google Ads account. Now, why is it important? Well, because this secret, this rule about the location, how you target the location can save you potentially a lot of money from irrelevant clicks. By irrelevant clicks, I mean people who are coming to the website with a very, very low chance that they will ever become your real client. Now, as you probably know, Google allows you to target your potential customers by their physical location. So for example, you can select Sydney or Melbourne and you would expect that your ads will be running just for people who are physically located in that area that you are targeting. However, let's dig a bit deeper here. All right guys, so I want to show you now where within your Google Ads account you can find this location setting that can potentially save you a lot of money. So once you logged into your Google Ads account, you have to click on the settings, on the settings button on the left hand side. Once you click on the settings, find the locations, locations menu and open it up. So within your locations menu, you will see all the locations that you're currently targeting, right? So in this example, you'll see that we're targeting Brisbane, uh, we're targeting Brisbane city and two kilometer radius around a certain Brisbane location. Now, under this table, you will also see location options. Once you click on location options, you will find this one, two, three, four or five checkboxes. Now, what I want to talk about today, these five checkboxes and what they actually mean. So if you click on this uh, question mark, you will see how Google explains this particular targeting. So it says by default, your ads can show to people in regularly in or who have shown interest in your targeted locations. For example, if you own a bakery in Paris and choose Paris as your targeted location, your ads can show to people located or regularly in Paris or to people who have expressed interest in Paris bakeries uh, now or in the past. Alternatively, you can use other location options to limit the location types that you target. So what this means for us, what it means for you as for the advertiser. Well, let's have a look. So we have three options here. So you can target for people who are present in the location that you have selected or shown an interest. Now this phrase shown an interest or an interest and what it, what it means who have shown interest. Well, it means that if the person is physically located, let's say, for example, in Australia, right, or in some other country. And if they search for Bakery Paris, even though they are not in Paris, they are completely in a completely different place in a different country. If they searched for Bakery Paris, they potentially can see your ad. Now, let's think about it logically. So you have a limited budget as an advertiser, right? 50, 100 bucks per day, maybe a thousand, doesn't matter. Now, when you think about it, what are the chances of the person who is outside of your targeted location? Let's say in this example, there is a bakery, right? Google gives us a bakery as an example. What are the chances that the person who is located in another country, let's say Australia, who is searching for bakery Paris, what are the chances of this person becoming your customer if you are running a bakery in Paris? Pretty slim, right? Well, maybe that person is planning to come to to Paris at some stage, but chances are pretty slim. On the other hand, we have people who are in Paris searching for bakery for, for bakeries in Paris, right? Those people, of course, they have higher, much higher chances to become your clients because they're physically near your, uh, near your store. So what I'm trying to say here is, and, and if you look at the account setting that by default, by default, Google, when new account is created, Google by default will pre-select presence or interest. Presence or interest, that's what they do by, by default. In my belief, in my belief, for most small business owners and medium business owners, this setting by default is supposed to be presence. Because you, as a business owner, have a much higher chance to sell your products or services to a person who physically located, physically located when they search inside the location that you are targeting. So the physical presence is there. Right? So that's that's what we normally do for all our accounts that we're running professionally for our clients. We select this second option. The logic behind it is simple because we all have a limited budget. We, if you have a limited budget, you want to spend your money where your return on investment is higher, right? And of course, if you had a limited budget uh, and you could advertise for everybody, you just had no limit in terms of how much money you can spend on advertising. Yeah, of course, you can, you can spend your money everywhere. But because you have a limited budget, you have much better chance to sell to a person who is physically located in an area that you are targeting. There are many secrets like this hidden within Google Ads settings that can potentially cost you money without producing results that you expect. We've been running Google Ads campaigns professionally for our clients for over 10 years now. So if you want us to check your Google Ads account, please contact us and we will be more than happy to discuss it with you and see where we can help. 
Please also consider subscribing to our channel. We post a lot of useful and helpful content for business owners just like you. We can show you how to get more clients, where to advertise, even how to convert your website visitors into actual paying customers. So definitely worth your time looking at it. And, and if for some reason you decide to unsubscribe, no hard feelings. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.